The city of Twin Falls is seeing a population growth that now requires them to provide certain services to its residents. The city is now looking into a micro transit system that could be here as soon as spring 2023. We're um, solving for the problem of the individuals that are transit dependent. Um, those are people who don't have their own transportation either because they no longer can drive. Um, maybe they're elderly and they're trying to age in place in their own home. Um, they're to say um, our population of um, residents that are disabled. Um, there are individuals that just don't have a car. Twin Falls recently crossed the 50,000 population mark, which requires them to provide a transit system for its people. The city is discussing a micro transit system similar to Uber or Lyft. This contrasts with a bus system that would have issues in Twin Falls. And the reality is that something like that just isn't going to work in Twin Falls. Um, in order to create the, the number of routes we would need and the frequency of the routes, it would be it would be unbelievably cost prohibitive. And a ride share system could focus on more individual destinations like helping elderly users get around the city. The most recent transit system that helped with that is Trans4. That closed in September and now Interlink volunteer caregivers have taken on many of their former clients. We've been averaging on a monthly basis anywhere between 285 and 300 requests a month just for transportation. Things like dialysis and cancer treatment are priorities for this service, which leaves things like physical therapy and other requests on the back burner. Groceries are important, but it's down the list and we have to work those in and you don't get a specific time to be able to do that. But like I said, these are all things that are really, really essential because if you can't get to these things, you're not going to be able to stay at home very long. Jeanette hopes the new transit system will relieve the burden that some in the elderly community face and give transportation to anyone in need of it in Twin Falls. Isaiah Sharp, Idaho News 6.